Hey, what's up? So there is a new feature in new task manager of Windows 11 called efficiency mode. This feature will improve the system performance by limiting the resources used by the applications. This is actually a very new feature to improve the system performance of your Windows 11 PC. So basically you can turn on the efficiency mode for certain applications using this feature by right clicking on any application where you want to turn on the efficiency mode or you can go up top where it says efficiency mode. So let's say for example, if I turn on the efficiency mode for this application, it will give you the warning that uh, some applications might get unstable. So yeah, that's just a warning. Turn on efficiency mode. You will see leaves. There are two leaves. They look like leaves. So I believe they are leaves. If I'm wrong, please do the comment. <laughs> So when this thing is turned on, now that application will use less RAM, less CPU to improve the system performance. That's what uh, the efficiency mode is. So this is a fairly new feature. Uh, actually, most of the work is done automatically, even though we have a efficiency mode option to turn on the efficiency mode on uh, certain applications. but uh, we cannot turn on or off efficiency mode on all applications. It doesn't work with all applications. For example, uh, if I open the Edge browser here, which is a pre-installed uh, default browser of Windows 11, you can see there is no efficiency mode and we cannot turn on the efficiency mode. So I'm going to close the Edge browser again and I'm going to open this again. Sometime it actually uses a efficiency mode. Let me try to get this into the efficiency mode. So here you can see uh, sometime the Windows 11 system will automatically put Edge browser to efficiency mode. Uh, even though we have a manual control, but uh, we cannot actually manually control this feature for some pre-installed applications. For example, this Edge browser, you can see now it's using a efficiency mode, which means it will use less CPU, less RAM, but we have no control over it. We cannot turn this off or on. This feature is just automated for some pre-installed Microsoft applications. If I open the Edge browser again, you can see it's now it's not using the efficiency mode. I don't know what kind of method <laughs> the system is using, uh, but uh, sometimes it just uses a uh, efficiency mode automatically and sometimes it just doesn't. And I don't know if this is a new thing, but uh, a certain applications uh, process will be suspended uh, automatically in system. If there is an application which runs in background and you don't use it for a long time, the system will actually suspend that application and stop it from using resources. So there are actually a couple of uh, suspended uh, applications by system. You can see your phone application. I'm not using it. I think it's been like over a week that's why it has been put to the suspending mode even the search is also suspended so even settings is suspended <laughs> because i'm not using it right now you can see there is a zero percent cpu zero percent ram usage so this feature is looking really good like it the system will automatically manage the uh, you know system resources usage to improve the system performance uh, this is actually really, really good, even though most of the work is done automatically, right? Uh, but if there is an application you want to use, but you want that application to use less RAM and CPU, you can do that. Yeah, simply you can do that. But remember, not for all applications, all right? So let's say, for example, if I open the Opera browser here, okay, uh, we cannot turn on the efficiency mode for some reason. So as I said, this is a new feature. So we don't have full control over this efficiency mode. Maybe because, uh, you know, if you turn on the efficiency mode for uh, a application, that might, uh, application might run unstable. So maybe that's the reason why, you know, this feature doesn't work on all applications. Let's say, for example, if you're playing a game and you turn on the efficiency mode uh, for that game, uh, that game won't be able to use more RAM 
and more CPU. So the game might just crash or game might just lag, it might just run slow. So I think that's the reason why we don't have full control over efficiency mode. We just cannot turn on the efficiency mode for all applications. I mean, you know, I'm saying this again and again, but this feature is really, really good to improve the system performance and manage the system resources usage. So yeah, brilliant. So some of you guys may be wondering, how do I get this new task manager? Actually, this task manager will be available when the uh, Windows 11 22 H2 update will be available. It is going to be available with that 22 H2 Windows 11 update. So yeah, I'm using a Windows Insider and release preview uh, build. Uh, release preview build is the most stable version of the Windows Insider program. So if you also want to get the stable version of the Windows 11 22H2 early, uh, then you can go to the updates uh, settings and then go to Windows Insider program and sign in with your Microsoft account and select release preview. This is the most stable version. Using this option, you can get the next version of Windows uh, updates earlier very earlier so that's what i'm doing and i'm using this windows 11 22 h2 actually on my main pc it's it's really good yeah i'm enjoying it <laughs> i might make a video on how to get the windows 11 22 h2 iso file if you just want to do a clean install of windows 11 22 h2 yeah uh, just wait for that video that's it uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please do the comment and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.